So welcome. I want to go over life coaching qualifications because this is one of the questions that we get asked the most from people that want to get into the life coaching industry. So I'm going to answer a few of the questions that are the most important or the most relevant ones that people tend to ask us. The first one is, what qualifications do I need to be a life coach? Well, there are many life coaches that come from all backgrounds of working with people, such as counseling, personal fitness, nursing, massage, etc. However, the majority of coaches do not have official backgrounds. Instead, they bring with them two things, life experience and their own unique work experience. Often coaches coach in a specific niche in which they have a unique knowledge or experience. For example, entrepreneurs coach business startups, personal trainers become health coaches, teachers coach others in public speaking, etc. In most cases, coaches enroll in training programs before beginning their actual coaching practice. This gives them a foundation of understanding about what coaching is, the psychology behind it, methodologies, and process they use. There are a variety of programs out there. Some are basic, some are more advanced, some are about coaching in general, while others focus on specific niches. Ultimately, what training you need in order to coach is truly up to you because there are no laws that require you to have training as a coach. So another question we get asked, is there a life coaching degree, license, or accreditation that is required to be a life coach? Well, life coaching is a non-regulated industry, first of all. So there's no license or degrees that are required. There's six no official accreditation institute or governing board in the life coaching industry. There may be organizations that claim to be an official or legal accredited body. However, this is false. Therefore, anyone can coach based on their own level of comfort and their choices training or past relevant experience in that specific field. As long as you're not going outside of your scope of coaching, such as practicing therapy for mental health, for instance, you're free to coach as you wish. It is recommended that any coach who is concerned regarding this matter seek advice from his or her state. See, life coaches must be aware and strictly adhere to the appropriate roles of life coaches. So you have to know what your role is. Life coaches are not licensed mental health care providers or therapists and must not provide medical advice, engage in patient diagnosis, or treat mentally illness or trauma. Also, former therapists may receive legal consequences for practicing as a life coach while conducting therapy. See our video on the differences between therapy, coaching, and consulting for additional information. So the next area we're going to be going into is what are life coaching certifications? So life coaching certifications are educational programs that train life coaches in various aspects of coaching and offer a certification endorsing the coach who has completed the training program offered by that organization. There are many organizations that offer certification programs, and there are many types of coaching certifications. Some programs focus on general coaching principles and methodologies, while other programs see specific processes for coaching clients and niche topics. Many coaches study general methodologies and also complete trainings in particular niches depending on their interests and their goals of their practice. So having a coach certification simply means that you have completed a program offered by a coach training organization and have acquired knowledge that organization teaches. So it lets your potential clients know that you have specific knowledge that an organization has given you to help them meet a specific need that you're trying to meet with your clients. And again, there are organizations that claim to be accrediting or governing body for life coaching industry. However, no organization currently holds any legal authority over the field or other organizations when it comes to life coaching. Other industries such as social services, education, aerobics, and speaking, to name a few, offer certifications that are not legally licensed or accredited by educational institutions. The purpose of certifications and training is to obtain specialized knowledge to further develop one's career, increase the value of the services one provides, and establish further confidence and credibility. 
For example, when I worked in the social service field, I had take training certifications as Batters Intervention, Parenting 21st Century, the Nurturing Fathers Program, and others. And these certifications provide me advanced training in these areas, as well as additional credibility and open doors up in my industry in particular. So I was able to do more workshops when it came to that. I work with clients one-on-one -on -one when it came to that and things like that. I also developed contracts with organizations because I had these certifications. So there's a vast reason why it's helpful to have certifications.